Hello and welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Mike Marshall and I'm going to be taking you through some of our best videos this week. First of all, a lot of you will be taking uh, photos over the holiday season and if you don't have a top of the range camera, help is on the way. Mathematicians at Imperial College in London have created a new method to sharpen up blurry images. Here's a photo of the moon which they took with a standard SLR camera. When enlarged, it becomes very blurred. With the camera mounted on a tripod, they captured a series of images of the moon every three seconds. Then they took 60 of these images and applied their technique. The different images can then be superimposed and algorithms are applied to produce a sharpened up image. The new method lines up the original snaps more accurately, producing sharper results. It should also be possible to make it fast enough to put into digital cameras. Super resolution techniques could also be used to obtain better quality x-rays without upping the amount of radiation. However, for our next video, we have a galaxy that definitely isn't monitoring its radiation output. Here is a close-up of the black hole which lies at the centre of galaxy 3C321, which is located 1.4 billion light-years from Earth. Hot gas is drawn towards the black hole, and while some of it is swallowed up, a lot of it is ejected as a particle beam. Such beams normally extend out in a straight line, but astronomers noticed that this beam was being deflected. By looking at old Hubble telescope images, they realised it was slamming into a neighbouring galaxy, and this was making the beam flare out. From galactic collisions, we move on to a slightly smaller scale crash. A robot called Hoop 3 is continually knocking over chess pieces. Sandrine Kerstmont tells us how researchers are teaching it to get a firmer grip. Computers might have mastered chess, but robots still have difficulty moving the pieces around. To help this robot out, Swiss researchers gave it software that mimics the way a child learns. To teach the robot to move a chess piece, a person guides it through the motion three to five times, each time with the piece starting from a different part of the chessboard. This way, the robot learns to keep the same grip, no matter where the piece is. On its own, it uses its two camera eyes to find the chess piece, grasps the piece in the way it has learned, but adjusts the overall motion of its arm. The ability to deduce which part of a movement should stay the same, and which should be varied, is revolutionary. Now we know a bit more about how that robot interacts with its surroundings. Our next video gives us a glimpse of how owls see the world. German and Israeli researchers attached a tiny wireless camera onto the heads of barn owls to see how they divide their visual attention. This video shows what the owl looked at when he was in an office. Since owls have a tubular eye structure, their eye movements are limited, making it simpler to study their vision. Here, the owl peeks around an aviary. By analysing the videos, the researchers found that when owls actively search for something, they direct their gaze so that objects of interest appear on a specific part of their retina. The researchers also studied the owl's head movements right before it pounced on its prey. They kept track of when the owl fixed its gaze, when it moved its head in a linear fashion, and when it rotated it. The researchers think the owl's different head movements help it estimate how far away its prey is before it attacks it. Here you can see the owl attack a simulated prey. And that's all for now, but stay tuned for our special holiday roundups when we'll bring you the best science and tech videos of the year. Happy holidays from everyone at New Scientist. Thank you.